Okay, uh, here's the first of two short videos that I'm going to do that give you a bit of an introduction to the use of logs and exponentials. Now, this will obviously be very helpful for those students who don't do maths at A level, but it may be quite a good revision exercise for those who do do maths. So let's have a look first of all. Now you should have a sheet with some notes on it. It should be labeled A4.03 logarithms. If you haven't got it, it's probably worth just pausing this video now and going and get a copy of that one there. Okay. So what do you mean by logarithms? I'm going to give you a few examples. I'm actually going to use something that we call log to the base 10 because log to the base 10 gives us numbers that all of us are familiar with. But I'm going to do this as a way of introducing a few of the rules that we need to use when we're using logs. And although I'm going to talk about log to the base 10 now, the rules that we develop will be applicable to any log. In particular, uh, if you see on the picture at the bottom there, it says LN, which is called the natural log or log to the base E. So first of all, what do we mean by log to the base 10? If you've got a calculator and you type into your calculator uh, log to the base 10 of 100, you'll find that that gives you an answer of 2. Log to the base 10 of 100 is 2. If you type in log to the base 10 of 100,000, you'll find that that's 5. So essentially, what we mean by log to the base 10 is what number do I need to raise 10 by in order to get the number that we're looking for? So 10 to the power 2 is 100, 10 to the power 5 is 100,000. So if you chose a random number, something like 27.54, you'd find that log to the base 10 of 27.54 is 1.44. What that means is 10 to the power 1.44 is 27.54. Now that's what the calculator is doing, but hopefully it will make some sense when we look at one or two more examples. So first of all, let's have a look at this one here. If I say x multiplied by y, we can quite often write that down as x dot y. Uh, dot is just an abbreviation for the multiply symbol. Now let's give a couple of examples. 10 to the power 2 or 100 times 10 to the power 3, 1,000, is obviously equal to 100,000, which is 10 to the power 5. Now, what happens when we use log to the base 10 here? Log to the base 10 of 100 is 2. Log to the base 10 of 1,000 is 3. Log to the base 10 of 100,000 is 5. So that actually leads us to an interesting conclusion. You might have found this in primary school, that 2 plus 3 equals 5. OK, so that's not really all that important. But if we have a look at what that means, we can see log of x plus the log of y is equal to the log of x multiplied by y. Let me just go back to that one there. So we get this rule here that log of x plus log of y is log of x multiplied by y. So that gives us quite an important expansion. If we started off with log of x times y, we can say that is the same as the log of x plus the log of y. And that's one of the rules that you'll need to make sure that you know and you can apply. Now, from that previous slide, we know that log of x multiplied by y is the same as log of x plus the log of y. So what would happen if I had y to the power 7, for example? Well, y to the power 7 is y times y times da, 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 7 times. So what happens if we take the log of the left-hand side? Log of the left-hand side is equal to the log of the right-hand side. But we've just shown that log of x times y, or in this case, y times y, is the same as log of y plus the log of y plus the log of y seven times. So we actually now come up with the second of our important rules. We can see that log of y to the power seven 
is the same as seven lots of log to the power y. And so that gives us our second general rule that we need to be confident with, that we find that log of y to the power n, where n is any number, is equal to n times the log of y. And that always applies. And it's probably worth emphasizing at this point here that n doesn't need to be an integer. n can be any number at all. Now, let me just briefly mention something about bases, because in physics, most of the questions that we will use will be what we call natural log. Um, so uh, that means log to the base e, e just being a number, quite a special number, but it is just a number. Um, so if you look on a question sheet, if it says ln, then use log to the base e, or as it says on your calculator, the ln button on your calculator. However, sometimes they will ask you about things that will say log, or sometimes even log, and they'll put the number 10 down there as well. So if they say log rather than ln, then it's probably safest to use log to the base 10, which is the button that is labeled log on your calculator. So the rules that we've just shown a couple of minutes ago work for any base. So those are the things that you need to remember. Um, there's the top line, the one that we do develop first of all. The second line, hopefully you can see that one follows on from the top line there, but log of x divided by y is equal to the log of x minus the log of y. And the third one that we looked at, ln, uh, of x to the power b is just b lots of log of x. Now, the bottom two there are quite important. They're called inverse functions of each other. It tells you, and if you look on your calculator, you'll see that the button that has ln on it, if you do shift of that button, it will be e to the power x. So what this is telling you is e to the power x of ln of x is just x. And if you do it the other way around, that's also true. ln of e to the x is just x. So we can sort of think of those a bit like squaring a number and then taking the square root. It's not quite the same, but it's similar. So at this point here, what I'd like you to do is just pause the video and try to use the rules that we've derived there to see if you can expand these ones, uh, these values here. So I'd recommend you pause the video now and I'll show you the answers when you think you've done it. OK, let's assume that you paused it at that point there. Let's go through the answers here. The first one, I hope, is quite straightforward. ln of a times b is just ln of a plus ln of b. Again, another one that hopefully you're familiar with, ln of a squared is just two lots of ln to the power a. Now, this third one is slightly tricky, and you might have got some slightly different answers here. What's ln of 1 over a, or ln of a to the power minus 1? Well, you could write it down just as minus ln of a. But you might have written it down as ln of 1 minus ln of a. But get your calculator out now and just type in the log of 1, ln of 1, in fact, log of 1 or any number, and that will always be 0. So then we can look onto the fourth one there. ln of a divided by b gives us ln of a minus ln of b. And then we're getting to two slightly tricky. Now, these ones here, you might want to have done this in two stages here. ln of a times b to the power 4 is ln of a times ln of b to the power 4. But if you remember, ln of b to the power 4 is just four lots of ln b. Final one here, uh, just a, a reminder on this one here, that ln of e to the power x is just equal to x there. So I hope you find that relatively straightforward. Um, I'm going to, in the second video, go over an explanation as to three different ways that we use logs and exponentials in physics.